Warning, if the video, title, and description went over your head, let me be really clear on what you're about to watch. This is a backyard hunting video, which helps keep the population of pests under control. The bonus, some of these guys actually taste pretty dang good. If hunting and pest control offend you, don't watch, it's simple. So with that behind us, let's get on with the video. Egg Gun Leshy presents Thump and Dump 2. The Thump and Dump series continues as I toss some 25 cal hand grenades into dinner. In this episode, I'll be using the Egg Gun Lelia 2.0 and 25 cal, shooting the 34 grain JSB MK2s. For those that hunt squirrels in the woods, you'll know just how fidgety they can be. Getting a solid shot really comes down to timing. Um, it's really no different at the table for one, except that I'm increasing the odds quite a bit uh, to slow them down with some salty treats. Squirrels are incredibly tough and have insane reflexes, so keeping them occupied is important so I can ensure a humane shot placement. Uh, which, I think we can agree on this one, was pretty much perfect. I'm using the Eagle Vision GoPro scope cam mount in this episode. If you're interested in more information, you can go check out the overview video I just posted earlier. Um, I'll throw a link in the description so you can go check it out. Uh, if you did watch that, I have one quick update. So I saw a few folks commenting that I was editing in the reticle because the footage was blurry, like I was hiding that fact or something. Uh, it actually kind of annoyed me. Uh, this was by choice. So Eagle Vision has two lens options. One of them allows for more light, which really results in this unbelievable footage. But with my particular scope, the Dedal Stalker, it struggles to focus on the reticle uh, because a few unique features of this particular scope. I actually prefer this as I can edit in the reticle in and out uh, when I want to so I can clear the path for clear footage of the pellet tracking. What I didn't show in that overview video, however, was that uh, using the other lens. So it lets in less light. And so the quality of the image or, or the footage goes a little bit down but not that much. Uh, the reticle though is perfectly in focus uh, with that particular lens in my scope. So if you're gonna grab an Eagle Vision mount, uh, my suggestion is you just buy both lenses. So for an extra 40 bucks or so, you can have a ton of flexibility and options depending on your own particular scopes. So speaking of editing, I get a tons of questions on that too. And I'll be uh, diving into the software I use along with some of the tips and tricks to help you start uh, self-filming and making your own hunting videos. Look for that video to drop soon. All right, let's get back to a little thump and dump. If you're struggling with understanding the title, I'll let this particular clip explain it. Watch closely as the pellet thumps and then dumps. These guns are capable of producing twice as much energy, in some cases even more. But uh, backyard hunting, there really is no need to launch a pellet 950 feet per second. It's just going to zip right through and potentially hit an unintended target right behind it. So here, I'm shooting around 550 feet per second, resulting in 23-ish or so foot-pounds of energy. Where, as you can see, it's almost dumping all of the energy into the squirrel by limiting or having zero pass-through at all. Here's another great example. One thing that always surprised me though is how surgical the Diablo shaped pellet can be. Uh, this just sneaks into its dome and it face plants with the lights out immediately. I was actually a little low on this one. I didn't realize until I was uh, editing the footage, but it didn't matter. But that's about as low as that you could go from that angle uh, and safely have a humane dispatch. As you're seeing, it was lights out. 
All right, so this guy, I'm gonna have to censor a bit. Things got a little messy, uh, and YouTube is 100% not a fan of the fluids being shown within hunting videos. So it dawned on me though, that while I was editing this, I haven't released an uncensored video in Club Leshy in quite a while. So uh, if you wanna see this full video, I'll leave a link in the description for Club Leshy, which is a 100% free membership area within my website where amongst other things like special discounts and stuff like that uh, to products I use, uh, I share with you the stuff I can't show on this platform. So go ahead and check it out when you're done watching this. And for good measure and a little bit of a tease, I'll show this one zoomed in with that little unfortunate censored logo. Let's take a quick break from the bushy tails and let me give you a quick update on the owl situation. Holy crap, this is crazy. So that's a raccoon. That is an owl right there. That owl is gonna, he's going for him. Holy shit! Holy fuck! Holy shit! Oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. This is crazy. Oh my god, this raccoon is fucked up. I'm gonna... Look at that. That mama owl sliced that coon from the shoulder to its hip. It was hard to see it, or how deep it was, but it was clear as day through the ATN Thor 4 uh, thermal. Sometimes on the actual footage, uh, you don't notice it as much, but I could see it, um, the color differential of the hot blood uh, all over the place. So while I was out, uh, my heart was still thumping, uh, I dropped a few rats I saw creeping around a little bit later that night. These owls are just super intense. They're fun to watch. Every night, you can just hear the baby squawking while mom goes backyard bully hunting. Got him. This next dude was chewing on a marshmallow. My kids left a bag out in the yard. Uh, man, these, I was watching these squirrels, by the way. They were going crazy with these marshmallows. So let it be a lesson to you parents with all that sugar. These things were just bouncing off the trees. But anyways... Uh, this guy was sitting here eating this thing, and I was just watching it. But with the low-power tune, I didn't want to shoot it in the nose. So it kind of had its head up like that, eating in a weird position. I didn't want to get a weird deflection, so uh, I had to wait a bit. But as soon as it gave me a shot, I squeezed one off. Once the snow broke, we had a bunch more squirrels move in, just everywhere. 
I took this one out that was closest to me out first. I think some of you guys are starting to appreciate just how many squirrels I have because I've been browsing the comments from time to time and I see people really starting to figure it out. Uh, it, it's insane. Uh, I could uh, I could 100% feed my family forever if I had to. Probably even enough to trade for some toilet paper from some of you hoarders. When you're shooting at low power, however, accuracy becomes even more important. It's always important with an air gun, but it's even more important when you're shooting a little bit lower power. Uh, this one was really on me. As the pellet hits right where I asked it to go, I'm not sure why uh, I aimed low. Uh, in retrospect, obviously, I think we'd all make different choices sometimes. But uh, I noticed this guy immediately, uh, what happened, and uh, I ran out and threw a second one in him as it uh, ended up kind of behind the chair that you see, or you can't really see it, it's off screen here a little bit. But yeah, this one, not that great of a shot. When they go flying like that, that's usually your first indication that it wasn't a uh, square on shot. So when I saw that, I just immediately threw one in the chamber and went out and grabbed it. Actually just stood on its tail because it was flopping all over the place and just put one, uh, put the muzzle right up to it. So I didn't film it, um, well, actually I did, but I mean, it, it was just all audio. Uh, just because of the, it was all blurry anyways because I was standing on top of the thing. This next guy came within just a few minutes right after that, uh, the one you just saw, and I made up for it and just placed this one absolutely perfect. I get some fat squirrels in the backyard, but this dude, oh, he had a belly. Man, that Diablo pellet is just such a clean entry versus like a hollow point, like a polymag or uh, even a slug. Uh, if you take that shot, it's definitely going to get a little messy. I love the, the dome pellet just because it punches through that bone. All right, we're going to bring this action-packed episode to an end with this guy. I switched over to the other lens that I was talking about at the beginning of this video, and you can kind of see the difference. Obviously, the clarity on the reticle is totally there, so it's a good match for this scope. And I don't know if it was the sun, just the way that it was washing us out, so maybe I'm not giving it its fair shake, but um, it's just harder to see. Like, I just think the other lens lets in more light, therefore the raw footage is just way more clear. And that's just my personal preference. But again, go check out that video on the overview, and thanks again for Eagle Vision for uh, sending this off to me. And we'll continue to use it. Backyard hunting helps keep the population of potential pest animals under control. The bonus? Some of these guys taste pretty dang good. So here's one of my all-time favorite squirrel recipes. Press pause to get the full details.